Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial from PhotoshopIsFun.com. Now this is part three in the Camera Raw series, and if you recall in part one, what I did is show you how to just open up your um, JPEG file format so that they open into Camera Raw by default. And then in part two, we talked about the basic interface and sliders for the photographer's workflow. And in this particular tutorial, we're gonna talk about the spot removal brush and the adjustment brush within Camera Raw tool. And then you'll have a pretty complete set of tools for processing photos all from within Camera Raw. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the adjustment brush. And the reason why I want to start with the adjustment brush is because it leverages the same type of concepts um, with regard to these sliders that we did in the part two section of the Camera Raw series. So let's just say that I open up this photograph for the first time and like I showed you in part two, I want to make some global adjustments to the image. So let's say I want to kick down the exposure a bit. Um, I want to um, up the contrast, etc. And then once I get the global settings done, now I'm ready to go in and do targeted adjustments within Camera Raw. So to do that, what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on the Adjustment Brush Tool, which is located right here. Now you can see over on the right hand side I get a new set of sliders, but many of them are the same as you saw on the previous screen. So exposure and contrast, saturation, clarity, etc. And these will allow me to do targeted selections. So um, you can see my cursor now is a um, brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just brush on um, whatever I have these sliders um, set to onto my image. And if I can just orient you towards the cursor, the brush cursor, the inner circle is the actual brush, so the solid line. And then the outer dotted version of that circle is the feathering. So you can kind of see um, where it's going to impact as it feathers out. Now, if I were to um, go ahead and start with a, let's just say a one-stop um, adjustment in my exposure or roughly and I wanted to just lighten her eyes I can go ahead and do that um, just by clicking um, in the eye area and now when I, you can see the little pin that it dropped where I first um, started my selection and if I roll over or hover over that pin it'll show me where um, my actual brush adjustments are so that I can get an idea of what that impacted specifically in the image. So you can see that. Now I'm still on that particular pin that's still selected. So any other adjustments I make in the sliders will um, impact uh, that area where I brushed. So for example, if I were to take the clarity and boost it, you can see that um, her eyes had the clarity applied as well. And I can dial that down to whatever I think is um, you know, the right level for the particular picture that I'm working with. So if I were to um, now go down here and make the scarf more saturated, I can do that as well. And what I would do is select a new brush, and um, that way it'll preserve and not impact what I did up here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and turn my clarity back down to zero because I don't want that um, to, um, you know, I don't want that adjustment to take place where I'm going to brush now. All I want is saturation, so I'm going to bring saturation up to about 80, and now I'm going to start to brush the scarf, and you can see right away that it, it um, goes ahead and it adds that adjustment um, to that area where I'm brushing. Okay, and of course that's too much, but um, it gives you an idea of, of what I'm talking about. Now, if you don't like something that you did, um, let's just say the eyes, I wanted to take those back. Um, I would go ahead and select that, and you can see it's selected by, by the fact that the pin turned green and it has the um, dark circle in the middle of it. And what I can do is I can go ahead and click Erase up here. Now I have my erase, eraser um, brush. So I can just brush away that area. Let's just say this eye. And you can see that once I um, go back over the green and hover over it, it shows that I've brushed away or erased that uh, particular effect on this eye and uh, retained it over here on this one. So that's kind of how that works. Now, the other thing you need to know is that you can turn off your pins. So this green pin here, if I want to see the original, or if I want to um, see it without the pin, because a lot of times those pins get in the way, I just uncheck that to uh, take it away, and I can turn it back on. The other thing is I can turn off the preview so I can see the original by clicking this. And there you go, you can see the difference. So that's basically how the adjustment brush works. It's a really nice way to go in and do targeted selections within Camera Raw and make really nice adjustments to your photograph. So let's go ahead and move on to the spot removal tool. So to access my spot removal tool, I'll go up to the menu and I'll select spot removal. And then what I wanna do is I wanna zoom in on my model's face. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down control and then the plus sign. And then alternatively, I could have gone down here and used the zoom um, functions down here. 
but I like the keyboard shortcuts. And then I'm going to hold down my space bar so that I can drag the canvas to wherever I want it. And so in this case, I want it about right here. And then I'm going to zoom in one more. And, um, and then when I let off the space bar, my uh, spot removal brush comes back. And over here you have um, a drop down for the type of spot removal that you want to do. And generally for um, blemishes, you just want to keep it at heel. And um, I'm not going to touch the opacity slider generally. Nine times out of ten I wouldn't use that. Um, so I'm not going to cover it here. And then you have your brush size. And you can make your adjustments here if you'd like. Or you can use your bracket keys, which is my preference because I find it to be faster. And then I have the visual um, in front of me in terms of the size. So to use the spot removal tool, what you do is you basically do a left click on the blemish you want to remove. And what that'll do is um, it'll create a new circle, a green one, that's attached to your red circle. So the red circle is the area you, that you're going to clean up, and the green circle is the area that you're going to sample from. So you basically left click the green circle and drag it to another part of the model skin that is similar in tone and is free of any blemishes. And then the red circle will sample from there. So you can see when I let go here that it corrected that blemish, and I can do the same here and find a new, um, a new location or use the same if that works and um, you can see that it made those corrections and then I'm going to do one more here and then you can basically just go through your model's face and uh, make those adjustments as you see fit now if you're done with camera raw um, all your adjustments both global and targeted then what you want to do is basically import those changes into Photoshop and to do that you can go ahead and click open image here or you can hold down shift and then click open image and you can see the name here change to open object and what that means is I'm going to open the image as a smart object and that will allow me to come back and uh, make tweaks to these camera raw settings if I want to so if I don't hold down shift and I just select open image it's going to make the adjustments in Photoshop but I won't be able to come back and adjust them um, later so I'm gonna go ahead and open it as a smart object so I'm gonna hold down shift and then click open object and you can see that once it brings it into Photoshop that I have the little smart object icon here and again what that'll allow me to do is to double click on it and go back into camera raw and make um, new adjustments let's just say I wanted to really brighten that for whatever ridiculous reason and um, and then I could go ahead and do so so you can see how that works Okay, so the last thing I want to cover is for those of you who have the Creative Cloud version of Photoshop. Now, honestly, I should have probably shown you this um, in the first part of the series, if not the second, but quite frankly, I just forgot, so I'm going to go ahead and do it here. Um, but basically, what I want you to know is that you can access Camera Raw directly from Photoshop, so you don't have to set up your preferences or anything to import JPEGs directly um, into Camera Raw. You can just do it all from Photoshop. And to do that, you basically just open up your photograph, and um, you would go up to the Filter menu, and then select the camera raw filter and what it'll do is whatever adjustments you make it'll add those adjustments to the layer that you're on so in this case I want to preserve my um, background my original image so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it and then I'll make adjustments to the duplicated layer so I can go up to filter camera raw filter and then make whatever adjustments I want to make maybe I want to drop the exposure a bit and boost the contrast and a little bit of clarity and then go ahead and click OK and then it'll um, go ahead and make those adjustments to that layer you can see if I turn it off you can see the original etc so those are the basics this um, the basics of camera raw if you can um, you know remember how to use these um, basic features then you'll know how to use all the foundational elements of camera raw there's a lot more to learn about camera raw and I'm going to get into that in future tutorials but go over what we've talked about and um, try processing some of your photos using that and I think you'll be pretty happy with the workflow. Until the next time, happy photoshopping.